Hey Kendra crew, I know Christmas was just here like two months ago, but I miss it already, but I found this one Nature Cat episode just for me to remember. It's Christmas time, and our nature-loving pals are each getting ready for the holiday in their own special way. Daisy is decorating with flowers. Ah, man oh man, I love the smell of fresh pine. Squeaks is making an ornament out of what else? Cheese. Cheese is a snowman. Oh, you know he tastes so good. <clears throat> More like frosty the snowman. And Hal has just hung some solar powered lights on his doghouse. Kitty, baby! Ah, there's Nature Cat. He must be doing some Christmassy thing that involves giving back to nature because Nature Cat loves to give. Christmas and 
mention the electricity bill. So that all of nature can see how much we love Christmas! Well, I don't understand, Nature Cat. You always love to help animals in nature. <laughs> uh, this is helping animals? Now come on! Let's go decorate those woods! Sorry, Nature Cat. I'm going to help Granny Bunny. Wait! Squeaks! How? Don't you want to show the world how much you love Christmas? I sure do, too, too, also, also, as well.
Christmas is wherever we're together. Follow me. Scratch it, come back. Hal was so upset about Nature Cat disturbing nature and the animals leaving the forest that he turned and sadly trudged back to his doghouse. Hal? Where are you, Hal? Oh, well, it's time for me to get some rest anyway. Tomorrow is Christmas, and I want to be ready to celebrate. What was that? Huh, must have just been a Christmas vision. <laughs> That's it. It's Christmas Eve, and it's time for bed. Thoughts of sugar plums dance in my head. I can hardly wait for it to be here. I'm off to sleep. Gotta close my eyes to fall. There'll be a big surprise. It's the greatest day out of the whole year. When I wake up in the morning, it'll be Christmas. When I wake up in the morning, just tomorrow morning. When I wake up in the morning, it'll be Christmas. Displays are displaying. The music is playing. The lights are all lighted. And I am so excited. We feel so great. I'm flying high. Who loves Christmas? This guy. The presents are waiting just for me. Stockings hanging. Tree is lit. Santa will come in just a bit. So it's time to snuggle up beneath the tree. When I wake up in the morning at the break of dawn, when I wake up in the morning, it will be Christmas. <sighs> it was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. <laughs> Wait a second, someone must be stirring. I distinctly heard a kathunk sound. I did hear a kathunk sound. Hmm, sounds like Nature Cat is getting a late night visitor. Who, which, where? What was that? Ah, it's coming from the roof. Someone on my roof on Christmas Eve? Ooh, that could only be one person. <laughs> Cat. Oh, hello, Ronald. Not just plain Ronald, they call me Ronald Morley. Ronald Morley? But you look just like regular Ronald. Oh, yeah? Well, can regular Ronald do this? Whoa! No, he cannot. What do you want from me, Ronald Morley? I am a Christmas spirit, and I have been sent here to warn you. If you were going to warn me to move out of the way, you're too late. No, no, no. I am here to warn you about something different. Something very, very important. What? What is it? What's the very, very important warning? Uh, I can't remember. What? But you just said it was very, very important. I don't know. It's something about wanting too many presents. Why would I need a warning about too many presents? I have no idea. Presents are awesome. In my opinion, you can never have too many presents. Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, do you have any presents? Because I really want a Christmas present right now. <laughs> huh? Uh, no. But I want the present. I need a present. Give me more. More. More! Spirit? Aha! I think I just remembered why I'm supposed to warn you. Why? Why warn you with words when I can warn you with a song? My name is Ronald Morley, and I can't fit through the door. Because I have so many presents, I can't move across the floor. I tell you 
solve my problem and you just must not ignore. You see, I'm never satisfied because I'm always wanting more.